Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about mold toxicity, the science, and what you haven't heard about mold. So this is important to know that molds will incorporate heavy metals to protect themselves from the white blood cells. So things like mercury toxicity, unfortunately, the mercury kills the white blood cells, but not the mold. So the mold in the body will actually prevent Veil, and this is why having heavy metal toxicity as well as having chronic yeast and fungal issues and mold issues and mold exposure can definitely wreak havoc on your health. Now another interesting thing that you probably haven't heard about the connection with mold toxicity is there's something called MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone and this is something that is made in the hypothalamus, it's a peptide and it's involved in cytokine release so this is part of your immune system. We've heard about cytokine storms and things happening with certain viral infections. So you may be familiar with that word of the cytokine and we don't want it to be overly active. We need to have just the right amount of cytokines to ensure that our immune system is working appropriately to defend itself against whatever is coming at us. And mold can be one of those things. So low levels of this MSH, which can happen with mold exposure, can have impact impacts on growth of certain bacteria and that increase of staphylococcus can be prevalent in biofilms and often we hear about biofilm formation with chronic candida issues in the body but also low levels of this MSH are also associated with EMF exposure and also Lyme's disease so this is something that I talked about in a previous video if you missed that about some of the connections between autism and EMFs and mold exposure and Lyme especially in pregnancy and that link as to developing autism in the offspring. So that's really important to know that managing our MSH is important. So low MSH has also been linked to low melatonin and a decrease in feeling good. So whether that's dopamine levels, but also endorphins and endorphins we know are related to pain. So having chronic pain issues can also be related to this low MSH as it's related Related to mold exposure and also leaky gut syndrome and we know that leaky gut will definitely compromise our overall immunity so you can see how everything is interconnected and possibly mold can be one of these correlations so whether that is mold exposure in your home in some of the foods that you're eating but I just have to say you know that I always come back to our environment besides the mold we know what stimulates our MSH the sun because this is melanocyte so think about melanin in the skin this helps to with our proper sun exposure which I'm all about so get out there in that sun whenever you can having that safe sun exposure is really important for increasing our MSH and can really help especially if you do have a chronic mold issue and a mold exposure chronic candida issues without impacting and having that impact positively of that sun exposure this could be something that you're going to deal with for years and years and years and nobody's going to tell you that you need to get out in the sun to deal with your chronic issues with mold and with candida. So there you go. Drop the bomb. There you go. I hope that you've really learned something new from this today. Also going back really quickly to the MSH. So if it is low, you can definitely be more susceptible to getting electric shock. So if this is you and in your environment, you're that person that touches either someone else or you're very prone to getting those static shocks because of that low MSH this can also be related to your sensitivity as to what's going on with your electromagnetism also the low MSH is related to a decrease in your ADH so this can be make you very thirsty you can have chronic you know and frequent urination and that would be another sign of not only the mold toxicity but that low MSH so deal with the mold toxicity but also get out in the Sun mother nature's prescription which I talk about in so many other videos is something that you definitely need to do so check those out so I hope that you've learned something new today please drop me a comment or if you've got a question drop it in the comment section below I would love to hear from you also be sure to share this video and give me a big thumbs up I truly appreciate all of your great feedback and if you're new to my channel make sure that you're subscribed you also click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally Thanks for watching today.